name is David Hood. I'm a campus pastor at Fort McKinley Church. Every church can be a part of of reclaiming and changing the world in, in their own neighborhoods. We knew our focus had to be to stop worrying about so much how do we get people into the church and start focusing ourselves on how do we get the people who are in our church out into the neighborhood. We didn't have a connection with the local community. It was more of a social club. We began in the neighborhood just by walking through the neighborhood and praying for each of the homes in, in the community. As we walked, some of our folks on our prayer walking teams asked if they could bring trash bags because there was litter everywhere. And, and could we be doing some cleanup as, as we prayed? We got into cleaning gutters for our neighbors and mowing lawns and, and trimming trees and, and bushes. We started something called Project Neighborhood. And Project Neighborhood is really just a sustained, focused mission effort in our 15 blocks that surround Fort McKinley Church. People began to think of this not just as a place that they stay for a while, but as their community, as their home. Project Neighborhood has really cost very little actual funding dollars. Because really all it is is empowering and enabling the servants of this church to get out and use the resources they already have to serve Jesus in, in a very real and practical way. From the moment we stopped worrying about how to get people in, the church began to grow. And we've grown from about 40 to about 400 in about a year and a half. It's just been an awesome thing to watch um, the church, the looks, the appearance change, to see black and white, you know, come together and worship together and, and rich and poor. It was like one big happy family. There was no color. It's just people. When I first came to Fort McKinley, I knew right away that I wanted to be involved. I was first impressed with the breakfast ministry. Every Sunday morning, we, we do a hot, homemade, um, made-to-order breakfast for anyone in our community, and it's free. Within about three months, breakfast grew from 22 to 60 to 80 to 100, and now today we're serving about 350 people every Sunday morning. We, we know that it's important to, um, to get, you know, get people into church and to, and to feed their souls, but if they can't hear the sermon because their stomach's growling so loud, um, then we've really missed that need. Every one of us can, can find those strategic partners in our neighborhood to, to develop relationships with and, and to build the community that we need in order to be the hands and feet of Jesus that God's calling us to be. I would just encourage every church to begin asking yourselves, who are our neighbors and how do we love them?